Hello and welcome back to this familiar spot in the Moose Man. I finally understand how this puzzle works. And that's very satisfying and it actually is pretty logical and it makes sense and I really should have seen it and it's not all that weird. But the puzzle is still definitely quite buggy. Some of the things that happened are just strange and don't make any sense. But the puzzle itself, I understand now. Thanks to, again, Judas Silva, my man. After making that last video showing how to get it, I posted again on the walkthrough and said, Great, I got it because of the video. Thanks. I still don't quite understand, like, the logic behind it and how you're meant to figure it out, but I got it. And then he tried to explain. And I was gonna start the episode just like, I don't understand it and it doesn't make any sense to me and just move on forever. But I just read it one more time before recording and it made sense. One thing, or like I had one idea. So I'm, I'm just gonna go through this because it, it's, he says that he's not very good at English but he will try to explain, and I appreciate the effort, and I mean, it is, there are some sentences that I don't really understand, but that's fine. He tried, and he did help out a lot. So he says, the crystals glow when we are wearing a mask, which, yeah, they do. We need to repeat the melody that they publish, just like the four artifacts from the third page. That's a weird sentence. I do not understand that sentence. If we look at the, the thing here, they're like, what? What do you mean? You can't... You can't use four artifacts from this page to solve a puzzle this early on. That wouldn't make any sense. Unless they mean... He means like something else. I, I don't know what he means. I don't know what that sentence means and that really like threw me off. I was trying to think of that, but... I don't know, maybe there is something to that. Then he says... Uh, that is, we come to the playing crystal. In this case, you cannot touch those that do not play. For this, we take off and dress the mask. A little bit weird English, but I, I finally understood what he meant. It's... I thought it was like a weird sort of random thing. Like when they played, where if you uh, passed a certain threshold, it would play like one... Yeah, like here, it starts playing that one. So I thought, oh, okay, that's like a trigger. If I walk across here, it like does it again. No, yeah, there we go. It like does it again. So I thought like, oh, I have to walk here on this spot to get that one to play and then walk on another spot to get the next one to play and so on. That's not it. This is the beginning of the sequence and the whole, when I like uh, sometimes put on the mask, like I think I stood like here. No. Sometimes when I put on the mask, it would just go crazy playing all of them multiple times. That's just a bug, I'm pretty sure. Because what you're meant to do is you get one of them to, uh, to play a, a little melody, like he said. Then you walk to that crystal, which, I mean, we've already kind of ruined it, so hold on, let's walk back. I don't know if you need to start, like, far back, but it seems easier, just like... Now you walk to the first crystal, now the second crystal already played, so then you walk to the second crystal. It's like it's telling you where to go by playing the, the next thing. It's like a Simon Says kind of thing without the actual Simon Saying part. Like, you don't replicate the melody, but you have to go to where it's playing. So now we have to go to the third crystal without passing the second. That's when you turn off the mask and you walk across and then you turn on the mask on the sec or a third crystal. And now we can walk back to two, then back to one, and then we have to turn it off and walk to the third one. And there we go. That actually makes perfect sense. And boy, is it satisfying to finally understand that. So thanks again, Judas Silva. You're a fucking hero. Also, I, uh, I loaded my old backup and checked out the myths, and it's weird, because I actually didn't see, like, I have the Forest of Bones, I have Earthquakes, I have Chiron, I have all of these, I have this entire page on my previous save, so I don't see, there. there's no myth 
that I've missed on the previous one, but I definitely missed that, like, weird underground totem pole. So I have no idea what that totem pole was about. Like, it didn't seem to give me any myth at all. Not sure what's up with that. I kind of wish I should have, uh... Yeah, I didn't have... I don't have a backup of, like, this save before the last couple of episodes, because then I could have, like, gone there and then confirmed if it gave me anything. But I don't know, that's a just a weird thing. I did notice, however, that by the end of the game, I had only read up to here, which was, like, the, the weird uh, flying thunderbird dude, right? And then this page, apparently I hadn't read at all, if I understand it correctly. Maybe I had... But I didn't recognize it. They all had like exclamation marks and I didn't recognize the first one. So it doesn't seem like I read those. So I'm just gonna leave that for now and I'm just gonna read that when we get to the end of this playthrough. Like when I have everything then I'll read the last four myths just by the end. Just like tie it off neatly I suppose or something like that. But yeah there we go. Mystery solved, finally! Now I finally understand that, and oh right, I don't want to go that far. Uh, I want to go here-ish, should be fine. But yeah, now I understand that, and maybe it's going to be something similar with the totem poles once we get to the middle world, so hopefully I can figure that out too without even needing the guide, but maybe I... maybe I'll need it. And yeah, like I said, this part had a checkpoint even though it doesn't have a totem pole. So sometimes you just get checkpoints just wherever. Oh man, I feel like the, the camera is like jittering more than usual. Maybe that's something with my computer. But I don't have like anything running. I don't, I'm not doing anything. Huh. Is it not like jittering more than usual in the camera? Like it's stuttering. As it's panning. Well, I guess we'll have to live with it. That's annoying. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I got a fucking, like, malware thing or something. I don't know. I guess I should have this on. Yep, and there's the collectible. Man, it's so jittery! What the heck? What is happening? Why is it being so weird? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should, like, stop playing and uh, reboot my computer or something before I record next time, or like, the next episode, but... Oh, there's something! What's that? That's definitely a thing. I, I'm just gonna confirm that this is a thing by just, uh, walking onward. So I'm just gonna leave it for now and just go get one. Oh, that's how you get the one that you see up, up top in the thing. Yeah, okay, that's, that's definitely it. Um, so how do we do this then? It's like, mask, right, mask, right. Then light. Then mask, left. Then light. Then just left left without the mask that that's complicated can I just like do I have to hmm if I just do right right mask or a light left light and then left left is that it but then I just do it quicker maybe oh man this is actually kind of hard right right light left light left left Nope. Oh fuck, that's- yeah, it's- it's difficult to do. Cause like, if you double tap, you just start auto-walking. Instead of like, just stepping one step. Or taking one step. So, right, right, light. No, I don't think that's it. So, maybe I have to turn off my mask. So I do, right, right, toggle- nope. Stop auto-walking. Right, right, toggle, left, no, 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 shit. Right, right, toggle, fucking god, no, I'm, I'm gonna just look this up, I don't wanna fuck around with this, it's so annoying, the auto-walk thing just ruins everything, Jesus Christ. 
and I've kind of had enough of those secrets. They're a bit boring at this point. Like, enough is enough. We've had so many of them. Please. So I'm just gonna check that. Uh, where is it? Right here. And here's the third page. Yeah, okay. Very fast. You have to do it very fast. I don't see, like, exactly what you have to do. It's just say saying a bunch of weird numbers. But yeah, like, you have to do it very fast, they say. So... Oh, wait, the first one doesn't have a mask. I see. So, yeah, it's like... I don't think you have to toggle them I or, uh, like, toggle them on and off. I think it's just, like, doing it once. So it's... I start without the mask, and then I, I'm just going to run through it slowly so I know what to do, but then you have to do it really fast. So, right, mask, light, left, no, wait, wait, stop. Right, mask, right, light, left. No, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't understand, I'm just going to read it, honestly. No one knows for how long I will try to find find it without some some dude who helped him. So you have to stand in the left of the pet petroglyphs. I don't think they're petroglyphs, right? Are they petroglyphs? Is that what they're called? Facing them, meaning face to the right, and you have to stand on the left. Then fast press X plus space left left. What? That doesn't make any sense. Or there's an OR, right, space, X, space, X, left, left. I see, so it's not like... When you see the guy with a mask, you don't actually have to, uh... Take a step to the right, you just have to, like, toggle it. So... It's just... It's just, like, right... Yeah, just right, space to to toggle a mask. Then light to toggle on the light, then space to toggle off the uh, the mask, then X to toggle off the light, then left left. So ah oh, no, I did it wrong. I did a left step when I wasn't meant to. Uh, right mask. No, God, that's so fucking hard. I'm just gonna do what they say because it's I can't like think about. I don't know. I'm. I give up. I just give up. Right, space, X, space... Wait, right, space, X, space, X, left, left. Right, space, X, space, X, left, left. Nope, I did it. Maybe not quite that fast. Or maybe even faster. Right, space, space, space... No. What? I don't understand. I'm gonna try the other one. X plus space left left. That doesn't work. Nope, that doesn't work. Right space X space X left left. I, I fucked up again. It doesn't, like, toggle it on or off fast enough. That was, like, perfect. Come on. Again, that was perfect. There we go. Alright, that one is fucking mean. Like, even if you know what to do, that's still so fucking finicky. I... I am starting to really, like, dislike those. They're... They have outstayed their welcome. Please be more creative with your secrets. Come on. Rider. Pendant formed as a rider on a reptile. 8th or 9th century. From the town of Cherdin, Permcry. Reptiles on animal style objects are considered to be a symbol of the lower world. It is possible that their image was inspired by findings of mammoth tusks. Which were considered to be the bones of some mythical beasts by the creators of these artifacts. Okay. And now we can finally move on. Alright. And yeah, now it's the whole, uh, fish thing. 
so that's gonna be fun. Did I miss anything else in this area? Maybe I got everything. I might have gotten everything except that one that I just got. Because, yeah, I don't think there actually was anything to these fishes or anything. And, yeah, that's the mask making them spin around. And let's just click on this one. I kind of wish I could just skip this segment because it's kind of boring and dull. But I can't remember if there were any uh, secrets along it. Come on, spin faster. And yeah, this guy doesn't quite play fair all the time. He kind of just like does whatever he wants. Like, like there, exactly like there. Sometimes he just like, it's just pixel perfect. Like, yeah, it, you saw like a tiny little sliver of light go through. Like right now, he might do it again right now. I don't know, is he gonna do it? Nope, not that time. Yeah, I, this section is... It was kind of fun the first time, but... It's so inconsistent, I feel. Isn't this where I can just, like, walk across and he doesn't really give a shit? Yeah. That is the one. Good. Oh my god, that fucking teleport. Don't eat me. Oh god. This is bad. Okay, I can probably move there. Yep. We're good. Oh man, I thought I would get eaten there. Yeah, this guy is a bit annoying. And no secrets either, so that was like a complete waste. But now, where is the next collectible? Because I need to make sure if I, I'm missing any. Like that guy might be something. He just like stays there. And here are the totem poles. Oh dear God. Okay. So is it just the same? Wait, 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 hold on. Let's try that again. Let's approach from afar with a mask on and just see. So, one. Nope, this is something different. Do I light my thing? Do I toggle it? I might have to just look this one up again. Man, I'm... Oh, okay, wait. What was that? What did I do? How did I... How did I do that? Is it because I had my light on? Let's try that again. Oh, but when I have my light on, it actually does... Yeah, and then two, and then one. Hello? No? Maybe you just have to like toggle it on. So I have to turn it off, walk over here, walk over here, then toggle it. No.
I don't understand if it's trying to do the same thing as the, uh, the crystals. It's hard to tell, like, is it just being weird and buggy, or am I doing something wrong? Surely it's something a little bit different from the, uh, the crystal puzzle, but I, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can get a little hint. Oh, right. Oh, I already missed one. Yeah, I actually did get another one here. Can I just, like, uh, load and get that? I hope so. Where is it? Right here. There's one in the the water if you just go to the left. And I did get that one. I remember doing that. I just forgot about it now. And yeah, that's the next one. So, that's good. Haven't missed anything right now. And now, let's check again. Okay, yep. Totem poles. Go to the three idols. The riddle is the same that is with the crystals. What? Um... Go to the first one and activate the mask. It shows us the pattern. It's three patterns there. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Don't forget, turn on and off the mask in front of every idol is you're not going to succeed. What? Um... Uh... I mean, wasn't I doing that? Was I... Hold on. So maybe it's like, do I have to toggle the mask every time? So I... Walk here, and toggle it once. With the light on? Like that? Oh, do I toggle it right here? So, one, two? Ah! Okay. One, two, three. And then one, two, three, one. One. Two, three, one. Cool! Alright, I was gonna say, like, what did I do wrong if it didn't work? No, it did work! Alright! That one is kinda cool. Like, it wasn't exactly like the, uh, the crystal puzzle, but, yeah. That that makes sense. I guess I'm I'm just too bad to figure this out. Cause yeah, that that is pretty hard to figure out. I'm just gonna check the achievement. Vorsa Sanctuary. Solve the riddle of Vorsa Sanctuary. I did. Well, I I I didn't. I had help. But now we can read the collectible. Man and Moosemen. Stylized figure of a man on a reptile surrounded by moosemen. Seventh or eighth century. From the archaeological digging of the sacrificial place near the Svetic Rock on the Kolva River. Collected by A. N. Beredjentsev in 1894, village of Podbobica, Podbobica, Cherden District, Perm Cry. Cool. Alright. Good. I am glad we did something. Well, technically we didn't do anything, but... Still moving along, and that's what matters. So right when you do that, we already get... No, we don't. When do you get that one? You, like, get this, uh, collectible? Oh, yeah, now I have it. But I've already missed two, according to that. How does that make any sense? I'm just gonna peek at the walkthrough. I guess I should end off the episode soon, but let's just see. Yeah? The next one is, uh, activate the stone, so that one does count as the next one, even though it's like two steps forward. Also, he's calling it an owl. I don't think it's an owl. And yeah, that's just, again, just progressing, like, feeding rabbits to the guy, which we did. So yeah, that's not going to be any different.
I don't know if I can bring them all, like, at once. I did that once and he just ignored one. Oh, fuck. Don't run. Come back! Don't run! Is that like three bunnies in one? I don't even know. Well, it was two, at least. I'm not sure if one is like alive under there. Oh no, there he is, okay. Go in. Here we go. Can I, like, walk up to him right now? Yeah, you can. Okay. And, yeah, that's... What? But that's still, like, one... Hmm. I'm just gonna trust the walkthrough and... And move onward. But, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna leave it here for today. It seems like the jittering got a little bit better now. At least I feel like it did, so... I guess maybe it was just the underwater section, or, uh, it wasn't even that. It was the, uh, the walking up section with all the, like, moving people. That was really bad. Hopefully it's fine. I'm gonna record another one. So let's see if that one is jittery and stuttery as fuck. Well, yeah, we're making progress. Good progress. 90% of which is because of Mr. Silva. I am very glad that there is a walkthrough for this, because otherwise I would have given up a long time ago. Hope you enjoyed the episode, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!